しいこと聞かないでよね君のことだよでもその先は言わないけどね Yo, this is Ara here. Today is my long overdue review of the Ozma 60. This keyboard was a group by created by Pegasus Studios, a local Indonesian studio, s and the makers behind the Ozma 60. For disclaimer, I am not sponsored nor do I have any relations to Pegasus Studios when I bought this product. Without further ado, let's get into it. The Ozma 60 is a simple 60% board that uses a top mount with a comparatively low price point for the value that it has. The group buy costed me around 2.9 million Indonesian rupiah or around 200 USD for it to be shipped to my house without any taxes or extra fees if you are in Indonesia. As import cost of boards in this hobby can really add to the cost. I'm a big fan of the final cost of the board being already encompassing all the taxes and imports required for it to be made. The kit comes without a PCB, but any 60% PCB with screw in or clip in mounting points will do the job for the Osma 60. Many examples of the PCB are the DC60 or the DYZ60 or any PCB that matches the layout of your choice for the keyboard kit. For this build, I will be using a DZ60 that I built with creamsicles. I've used this to build a plateless tofu last time and I'm just going to repurpose it since it's easier that way. For the configuration that I am building for my Ozma, I am going to burger mount this keyboard with O rings that I got from my devastating TKL, as well as going to the polycarbonate half plate that was cut by Project Vulcan. I went with a half plate to produce a softer bottom out on the alphas while still being able to keep the keyboard top mounted. As this is a simple top mount board, the build process wasn't as long. Just putting in the plates and soldering in the switches took me about 1 hour and 30 minutes to make. Not a long time, but the build experience is fast, quick, and clean for a solder board. Really good for beginners who want to go into soldering. Going into details for the switches, it'll be creamsicles. These are made by combining a tangerine or JWK housing with a kale cream stem. For the sound profile and typing experience that I was looking for, I looped and filmed the housings with 205G0 as well as the stem. Going plateless on the alpha has allowed me to have a softer bottom out, which is to my experience and preference too. Moving on to the biggest deterrence of the Ozma 60s that it came with some foam. It's just preference but personally I do not like foam so I took it out. As, a f as foam is made for a specific sound profile which tends to be more muted, it was not the sound profile that I was looking for. For me, providing foam in a kit as an inclusion means that the designer had this built with foam in mind, and other than resolving the issue with foam resolved through a design solution, they opted to include it for the PCB and for the case. This highly affects the sound and typing experience, but I guess as it is a mandatory inclusion, the designer must have had a stiff and overall muted typing experience in mind when designing this board. Knowing so, I went on to build the board without foam on either the PCB or case. This result in a sound profile that doesn't sound too hollow as I feared it would be. Good on the studio for avoiding the hollowing sound that plagues budget boards such as the tofu. Another deterrent is the lack of mounting pillars present to use to align the top case and the bottom case. Usually found in brutal series of Canon Keys keyboards, these prongs would help align top and bottom piece of the board for an easier build experience and for better assemblies. However, as the included X screws for the top and bottom case are big, there has not been problems when shaking the Ozma. When built, the typing experience of the Ozma is stiff, but as I opted for a poly half plate, it provides just enough flex for it to be of my preference. No flex cuts needed in the PCB as well. 
as it has 6 mounting points, the stiff typing experience would make it a good match for tactiles. I'll try to rebuild it with tactiles and check the overall experience later. As there are many innovations coming up in MacBoard designs, the Osmo 60 being a top mod provided a real introduction for people who are getting into the group by face and want a keyboard that is within budget but with a slight difference in design. If there are future iterations of the Osmo 60 to be made, I would really love they remove the mounting point under the spacebar, added alignment pillars for a better experience and provide options for half plates and full plates. For now, the price point of 200 USD or 240 with a PCB, I really can't complain with how much of a good deal this board actually is. This board has made me anticipate what Pegasus Studios has in store in the future. As of the filming in this video, if you are still in Indonesia and unwilling to get the Osmo, a limited amount of extras are available in the links down below. Get them before they're gone. For the keycap set I'm using for this build, it would be the GMK White on Black. I got this from PlusKB. Special shoutouts to them for providing the Flash Group Buy for this. Again, no sponsor, but join their Discord if you're looking for keyboard stuff that's not in Indo. Good folks and communities don't come often these days, so come on join plus KB. Links for discords down below. And that is it for my review. I'll leave a typing test for the board as well as give you guys a really quick update on my current situation as of right now. I'm currently fighting the human malware that's pl plaguing the globe right now. I've been staying safe and going to doctors so everything is good now. However, uh, it's made me really think about what content I want to put out for the community right now. Taking a break from streaming has allowed me to reassess what I want to give to the community. As such, I will probably not stream as often as I want to be a content creator that can contribute to the community and provide useful information to them in the future. So yeah, except expect a more active form of content here on YouTube and a lot more interactive and chill content on Twitch. Till then, I'll see you in the next stream or video. As promised, this is the typing test for the Osma 60. Enjoy.